Hey guys, what's going on? Inception here and welcome to another video. Ladies and gentlemen, we have the new gameplay objective Evander card. Uh, the objective wasn't too hard to do, to be honest, because I was actually really lucky and I had some sort of like inform just chilling on my team for the uh, Danish league. His name was like Bundu or something, like a right wing guy. So I was really lucky that he was just chilling in my club to get those goals with the Danish league players. But ladies and gentlemen, we're taking a look at a card that is a pretty cool gameplay objective card because he's Brazilian, right? If he wasn't Brazilian, then it would be like whatever because I think he's from the Danish league and uh, unless you're working with some rest of the world players, there's not really that much you can do with the Danish league, right? So with Evander's card, ladies and gentlemen, we're taking a look at a card that is medium, medium work rates with five foot ten height, right footed with five star skills and a four star weak foot. In regards to the traits that he has, he doesn't have any crazy traits. So, you know, his attributes obviously need to be pretty decent. He has 93 acceleration with 80 84 sprint speed. Uh, shooting wise, he has an 82 attacking positioning with 88 finishing, 99 shot power, 92 long shots. Passing stats uh, are okay. Oh, not okay. They're really good. You don't necessarily need to improve that. Shooting. Shooting is going to depend on how you're going to line up with this card in game. And we're going to be talking about that in a bit here. Uh, passing stats are good. You don't necessarily need to improve. Uh, in regards to dribbling, he has 98 agility with 98 balance, 80 reactions, 88 ball control, 94 dribbling, and 76 composure. So right off the bat, right, when it comes to this card, I could potentially see him being a usable cam in a team, right? Because you're looking at someone that actually offers you a decent defensive presence because he actually has some defensive stats. He has a decent height at 5 foot 10 and with the sniper chemistry style, of course, you would be giving him a plus 5 for composure, a plus 5 for reactions as well as boosting his ball control and dribbling because his agility at 98 and his balance at 98 uh, is pretty solid already, right? But I think you would also be messing with those by a plus, a pu a plus 1 as well. Um, the only thing that would be slightly off is the 82 attacking positioning, so we would have to experiment with that in game in regards to him uh, being in the cam position. Now, another way that I could see this card being lined up is in my CDM position with an anchor chemistry style, right? Because with this card, him being a medium, medium work rate player with 82 attacking positioning, he's not going to be crazy attacking oriented, right? If he was a high medium player with 82 attacking positioning, then I would expect for him to move more, which we will be experimenting with because. When it comes to players, you it's only accurate, I would say, like 85% of the times. But some players just do stuff that like you wouldn't expect uh, expect at all, right? So Evander could definitely be one of those cards. But the way that I see this card being used uh, with the anchor chemistry style could be a really cool situation for most people's team. Because you would give him a defensive presence, you would be boosting his pace, and because he's super agile already in the midfield position... You know, it could be really nice. And then you would be giving him the plus 10 for aggression, plus 10 for jumping, which is pretty nice to have because of the fact that he's 5'10", but then you would also give him the plus 5 for strength. So if you want to use him in a center mid position or CDM position, you could totally do that with this card. Now, because I have a Brazilian team that was kind of like just chilling in there, right? You can see that I still have like Emerson and uh, Aurelio Gomez, Gomez because of... You know, just players just hanging out in there, right? It's a, it's a pretty cool squad. I actually packed Alex Texera's first owner card. So a pretty cool card to get there because he's actually really nice. I enjoy using him a lot. Um, yeah, he's going to be playing in the cam position in the squad. Now, we're going to be rotating him accordingly, right? Because I'm not going to give him a chemistry style just yet because I actually want to see if his basic chemistry style actually makes him decent defensively because then I would know that if I would give him the anchor chemistry style he would be pretty decent so we'll be trying him out in the CDM position center mid position and cam position and then we'll see what is up with this card so we're going to start off with the 4-2-3-1 as we normally do uh, we'll be playing with these tactics so 5 and 4 5 and 4 and then he'll be playing in the CDM position on the left side because he is a player that does have the four star weak foot. I don't think Casemiro has the four star weak foot. Uh, but I do want to try him out on the balance instruction because I'm going to have him on cover center. We're going to see if he's going to be at least a little bit attacking oriented because medium, medium with 82 attacking positioning could suggest that he could move a little bit. And with the basic chemistry saw, he's going to have 87. So we're going to be testing a few things here and there in regards to that, right? Uh, the rest of the team will be on balance. You know, I like Juan Pedro on stay central target man, preferably. I, th I think he moves, he moves well without the instructions, but I like him with it. And then we will be trying him out in a 4-4-2 with him playing as one of the center mids as well and again we will be trying him out on just balance instructions just cover center and then casimir will be on stay back while attacking and then last but not least 
what do we have? CDM center mid, and then I could switch back to the 4-2-3-1 and then try him out on the cam spot. So, let's get into a game, see how he plays. Hopefully he's a beast. I wonder if this guy is doing like a League 1 objective. He actually has some pretty solid players in there. Alright guys, so we'll be using the 4-2-3-1 for now. We'll see how he plays. His left stick dribbling is awesome. Yeah, in the midfield position, I don't feel like I'm going to have to improve that. Now, if I use him in the cam spot, because those quick cuts are such an important thing to have, I would definitely give him the sniper chemistry style there if, you wanna plan if you're planning on using him there. But um, in the CDM position, I feel like his height is pretty solid. His dribbling is pretty nice, so we'll see how he moves around the pitch just regularly. And everyone just goes instantly to their defensive tactics. Oh, he actually does attack a little bit. Okay, so on balance instructions... Uh, the basic chemistry style is giving him 87 attacking positioning, so take that into consideration. But, um, yeah, he will attack for sure. Yeah, he'll aggressively push up regardless. Medium, medium work rates. He'll move if he needs to move. Quick cuts right there to open up the space. Could potentially get a goal here with Philippe Anderson. We do not, but his quick cuts are actually really noticeable so far, which is nice. Try a shot from that angle, actually. Okay, so more more into the middle over there. But shot power is actually pretty solid on the card. If his finishing was higher, he could potentially score that opportunity. Yeah, I could totally see this guy actually being like a pretty nice cam to have in a team, in all fairness. Nice pass right there. Should be a goal. We score that opportunity. Nicely done. Let's go. Nice little goal right there. Passing stats from this card was actually pretty solid right there. So obviously, because, because of his base card stats being really good for passing it's not something that you have to improve so so far what i'm seeing with this card is that he's actually kind of light on his feet so in the cbm cdm spot like i said if you want to improve him a little bit defensively an anchor chemistry style would definitely be the play but if you want to have a little bit of an attacking presence you want to use him in the cam spot a sniper chemistry style could be the play for that as well is that him that went into the center back spot is that him right there Oh, I thought I was. I'm like, Ether Millie Town's a defensive beast. Like, what? Nice. Ball roll touch. Oh, and I hit the post. EA, I hit the post on an empty net. I'm sorry, dude, but they have they have to have, like, some sort of code in the game where it's like, if, if I get past the goalkeeper, the goalkeeper is no longer in his net, like, my shots should just be, like, 100% accuracy. Like, that, a bronze player should be able to score when a player commits like that. It's crazy. The thing is, too, is that, like, his finishing is not even bad from base card stats. Like, he should be finishing that opportunity very simply, to be honest. His transitioning left and right is very solid, and that's very noticeable because of his agility and balance being super high. So, like I said, guys, those are the two ways that I see this card being lined up, to be honest. It's either with the sniper chemistry style in the attacking areas, or with an anchor in the CDM spot, for sure. The way that he's moving with Casemiro right now is actually pretty solid because of the fact that he's a medium, medium work rated player. It's very interesting to kind of see how he's going to move off of a medium high work rated player. So in situations like this, Casemiro still, still chills in the middle. He's actually marking that dude the entire time too. So you can definitely tell that he actually, he actually has a very solid defensive presence, but he would obviously have a better one if you improved it significantly, right? I like his movement into the middle right there. It's actually solid. If I reacted quick enough with the pass, I, I'm just analyzing how he's moving across the pitch because, guys, you, know, you guys know how the reviews goes with these cards. Um, yeah, super aggressive right there. Let's see how he goes back into position. Okay, so he stays in the attacking third for now, which is perfectly fine. He's in the attacking areas again. Yeah, he's pretty attacking oriented. Uh, let's, you know, we're going to try out actually. I want to try him out in the cam position. So we'll switch. We'll switch on Pedro there. I'm going to put Philippe Anderson up. No, Philippe Anderson, Texera should be up top. And then Evander, will be, we're going to be playing in the cam spot. So because he has like a plus five for attacking positioning, like his dribbling may not be what it should be just yet, but um, it should be a good indication of whether or not he would be a good player there. In the center mid position, you know, he's going to, he's going to be well balanced for sure with an anchor chemistry style. But... The cam spot's going to be interesting. Good interception right there. Like I said, having a defensive presence in that area is always nice. 
Oh, he actually pushes to the side right there. Okay. Score that opportunity right there. We'll take that. Um, okay, so he's one of the types of players where if he sees empty space, he'll go into it instantly. His attacking positioning is actually kind of solid. I, I'm actually liking it a lot, to be fair. Yeah, I think if you give him the sniper chemistry style, his dribbling would actually be really nice. Because it, it's moving nicely with just the basic chemistry style. Utilizes empty space instantly right there. That's nice. There we go. Nice little goal right there. Yeah, I mean, you know what it is with this card is that... He, he could definitely be incredibly usable in, like, a center mid position. Like, let's just say you want to play, like, a false nine or something. He can make a really good right center mid for sure. Um, that is a little bit more attacking oriented with the sniper chemistry style or the anchor. Really depends on what you want the most. But um, I do think he would be incredibly usable in the cam position with the sniper chemistry style as well. Because he's actually pretty solid attacking oriented uh, player, right? So... All right, guys, so final verdict on the card. It's a pretty decent gameplay objective card to give to the community. It's a Brazilian player that has four-star weak foe, five-star skills. Five-star skills is always a welcome uh, thing to have with players in this game, and I feel like it's obviously really nice to have on a card like this to be able to do the Elastico, the Fake Rabona in certain situations. Really, really nice. So depending on how you want to line up with this card in your team, because I know some of you guys like to make Brazilian teams, um, it's really just going to depend on where you want to put him. So if you want to play him in the CDM position, an anchor can chemistry style would be an ideal situation because you're going to be boosting his defensive stats, you're going to be boosting him physically, and you're going to be boosting him pace-wise. Now, even if you give him the anchor chemistry styles, you shouldn't expect this card to be super defensive oriented. So you're going to need a card uh, next to him where, you know, he's a medium high work rate of player that can offer that balance in regards to him pushing up. But then you kind of like chilling at the back just in case um, this card wants to attack. Because obviously with the basic chemistry style, he did get a plus five for attacking positioning. But if you're using him on balance instructions, he will from time to time utilize the empty space. He does not going to do it as much without the high medium work rates or the high high work rates but he still will do it regardless so that's one way you can line up with the card another way you can line up with the card is if you want to use him in the cam position specifically uh, or any of the cam positions left cam right cam center cam in terms of the usable aspect um, you can definitely give him a hunter chemistry style because his dribbling is actually quite solid. It doesn't really feel like you need to improve it, although there will be situations where, you know, you maybe want that reactions to be at a plus five instead of at an 80, right? But the hunter would make him more usable on the sides, middle position, um, so on and so forth. If you're okay with the acceleration at 93 and the sprint speed at 84, it could be ideal to give him the sniper chemistry style as well to boost his dribbling stats in general as well as, well as his composure, but making his finishing a 99 with 99 shot power, right? So would be pretty cool in regards to having that too. In the cam spot, having a player that actually has some sort of defensive capabilities is always a nice thing to have as well. So definitely food for thought. In regards to other things, let me check. He has the shadow chemistry style, the engine chemistry style. Shadow would make sense if you want to make his pace essentially really good with great defensive stats, right? Because if you want to use him and if you want to use him in the center mid spot, the CDM position, having his pace being really good when his dribbling is already really solid in the midfield position could also be a general uh, a general thing that you may want to do. Um, I had a lot of fun with the card. It's a, I think it's an okay gameplay objective considering it is the rest of the world gameplay objective. Uh, the SBC they dropped today. I don't know if I have any interest in reviewing that to be honest, but. Uh, Hopefully you guys enjoyed the video today, you guys enjoyed the review. Again, it's a cool concept gameplay card to release to the community. If he was like a crappy nationality, it wouldn't have been that great. But Brazilian, it definitely helps out for a couple people's teams. So hopefully you guys enjoy the video. I'll catch you guys for the next one. Peace out, dudes. Love you guys.